morning guys and welcome back to another video i am super excited to show you a few new items from yvette today and then we are also going to talk about some of my favorite weight watcher snacks but they're really not maybe your typical weight watcher snacks some of them may be some of them may not be i don't really eat a whole lot of just like processed snacks I guess that a lot of people might do on Weight Watchers but I did get asked a lot of questions you know as far as what my favorite snacks and stuff like that are so anyway we're gonna go down after we do this try on haul and just kind of look at some of my favorite things and kind of go over that and kind of you know my thought process on choosing snacks and stuff like that but I want to thank Yvette for sponsoring today's video uh, I have been working with them I guess pretty much for this whole year I think I love working with them they are an absolute great company to work for they my favorite thing and I always say it is is the affordability and the quality of their clothes and then also the inclusivity of sizes because a lot of their sizes go all the way up to 5x so it will definitely be um, a line of clothes that almost anyone can find something to fit their body type size whatever and um, Yvette is also great to work with as far as like chatting back and forth on Instagram and stuff with them to figure out your sizing and stuff like that. So without further ado, let's just jump right into the video. I have two sports bras to show you today and two pairs of leggings. Okay, real quick before we jump into the items today, I just wanted to talk about my discount codes that are available. So we have Jennifer 10 for 10% 10 off any order. And then there is Jennifer New 15 for 15% 15 off any order over $109, but if you purchase between now and December the 26th, then you can use the Jennifer New 15 for orders $89 or more and save the 15%. So it's either Jennifer 10 for 10% 10 off altogether of any order or Jennifer New 15 for orders $89 and above through December 26 or Jennifer New 15 uh, just for orders over $109 pretty much at any time. So with, that, with all that being said, I thank Yvette for offering that discount code to all of my followers and I hope that y'all use it and save you some money. Again, their prices are so reasonable anyway and they are always having sales. Most of the time there is free shipping on the weekends in the U.S. so I highly suggest ordering on the weekends. Okay guys, so the bra that you are seeing me try on at the moment is going to be, this is the Limitless White Space Women's High Support Sports Bra. It has a sweat, whipping, sweat wicking fabric that helps you stay dry and comfortable. It is very easy to put on and take off because it does zip all the way down the front and you can put it on and take it off like a jacket. So I love the bras that zip in the front. Um, and then it's got this nice little flap that just folds over and kind of covers the zipper. Hopefully you can see that okay. And it has the Razorback design for full movement. It can hold you firmly. So here is the back of the sports bra. The shoulder straps are wide with the mesh detailing and that makes the fabric much more breathable to help keep you cool and stuff like that. The cups are not lined in this bra. That is the one thing that I would say is a negative to me about it personally, but a lot of people don't like cups and bras and they take them out. So it molds to your body and then it just stays in place during your movements because it just molds to your chest and holds you right into place. The band sizes available on this bra are 30 to 48 and cup sizes double A to triple D. And for reference, I am wearing a 38B in this and my typical bra size is a 36D. So super supportive, super soft, super comfortable. Again, I am more comfortable with stuff that does have the uh, either pads that aren't removable or removable pads, either one is fine. But again, uh, a lot of people do not like the pads. So if that is you, then this is just a nice, basic, breathable, soft sports bra that is designed to hold you in place and um, make you beautiful as well. So, okay, and then this beautiful uh, rosy, dusty pink color pair of leggings that you are seeing me try on right now. These are the For a Better Day High Waist Women's Sustainable High Support Leggings. They are 75% polyester, 25% elastane. Uh, they are designed for high impact workouts. They are breathable, uh, definitely high waisted with a wide waistband. Uh, that can keep you sucked in. The fabric is soft 
streamlined um, definitely gives you a great shape I love the way these fit I have several of these in the various colors that they offer it does have the four-way stretchy technology to ensure stretch in all directions super comfortable they are not see-through as you can see here from my little squat test and they come in sizes extra small to 2xl and they are available in four colors uh, again, I love these. I love the color of these leggings and yeah, highly recommend them. But uh, this is what they look like up close. Uh, and yeah, they are high waisted, very stretchy. Love them. Highly recommend. These are one of my favorite leggings that they have. Okay, so the next sports bra that you're going to see me try on is the Limitless Women's High Support Sports Bra. It is 80% polyester, 20% elastane. This is designed specifically for women with large breasts. It has wide shoulder straps, uh, which relieves pain and pressure on your back and shoulders. It also has these adjustable level bands. So here, let me just show you this up close. You can actually just take this out and you can adjust it up and down to give you the space that you need if I can get it out here. I just adjusted it to where I wanted it. Okay, so you see that comes all the way out so you can tighten it or you can loosen it as much as you want to to make it fit your body exactly how you need it to. Super easy to do that and this would really be kind of like the equivalent to buying three sports bras in one just because it has so many different features about it. If you look inside here, it also has like this extra kind of lining here. This is a super stretchy, um, no chest pad. It just fits the shape of your breast. This comes in sizes extra small to 5XL and cups A to F. And this is available in six colors. This is going to hold you in place and, uh, yeah, keep you well supported while also allowing you room to move and with all the adjustability and everything that this bra offers. So, love this one. Highly recommend. Again, it just does not have the um, pads in it. It is... Uh, just going to mold to the shape of your body and then let's look at this last pair of leggings which is the unfold fast women's high support leggings I have them here in black they are a medium and if I didn't say it earlier the pink leggings are also um, a medium as well so that's pretty much my standard size in leggings or shorts with Yvette they are high-waisted and then one neat feature that these have and I'm going to show you here up close is they have a little drawstring also showed it while I was trying them on for you as well so you can tighten or loosen that as needed. This is designed for high impact workouts. It has very soft fabric but it is also strong enough to uh, hold you in place and keep your shape. Uh, it has the four-way stretchy technology uh, that ensures movement in all directions. It is a squat proof. I will show you here as I squat that it is not see-through and this is available in extra small to 2XL and it comes in three colors. And again, uh, I love all of these items from Ruby Vet. I have yet to find anything that I just do not like. So I have lots of their items. I have a lot hanging up here on this rack and I have even more in my closet and stuff. Just because I have run out of hangers and places to put them, I'm gonna have to kind of go through and do some more organization with uh, all of my sportswear that I have accumulated over the past year. But yeah, thank you so much Yvette for sponsoring today's video. Again, I will leave my discount codes listed here on the screen for you and everything will be listed down in the description box as well. So now with all of that being said, let's uh, go downstairs and look at some favorite uh, WW snacks that I have. Okay guys, so like I said, we were just gonna go over just a few little staples and Weight Watchers snacks and stuff that it's not necessarily Weight Watchers. So I personally am not one of those that eats a lot of the processed Weight Watchers foods, I don't think. I tend to make like a dessert every week. So here is our dessert that we made this week, which this was Charlie's request, which you will see in my meal prep video that probably comes out tomorrow. But he wanted some blondies, so we made blondies this week. He found this recipe. It is a Weight Watchers recipe. Um, but we have been trying to play around with different desserts because typically if I make my chocolate cookies, which I would say that's my number one tip is to eat my chocolate cookies. If you don't know what those are, then you can just search Jennifer Lynn protein cookies or whatever on my site 
and it will pull it up. I have made them probably hundreds of times, almost to the point to where I've gotten burnt out on them. Those are such a high protein, low point treat made with protein powders. I uh, highly suggest those. They are different from a regular cookie, but I don't have any right here in front of me to show you, but uh, yeah, if you've been around here for a minute, you know what the chocolate cookies are. You know I believe in trying to make some type of dessert. So this week we made blondies, so that's those. Uh, but some other things that I love to always have on hand, number one is my grape crystal light. So I have a fresh one that I just mixed up here. And I do not drink sodas. I know I've said that before, mostly because I had weight loss surgery about 10 years ago, and you're not supposed to drink sodas after that. And so that's when I started drinking Crystal Light. And a lot of people say, you know, oh, does Crystal Light have caffeine? This one does have caffeine. Let me get a box and show you. So I know that there are several different flavors of Crystal Light, but this is the one that I always have. Let's see if I can get it to focus. Do you see there? It says with caffeine. This is uh, one of three flavors, I think, that actually has caffeine. I do not like the other two. The other two, I think one is strawberry and one is an orange. The strawberry is very, very tart to me, and I just don't like the orange. I'm not a huge um, orange flavor person, so the grape is it for me. I've literally been drinking this since 2012 religiously. If they ever discontinue it, I will die, but... Uh, that is one of my favorite things. I know that's not a snack per se, but this does help me to get in a lot of water. I do count this as my normal water intake. I do try to drink some plain water. I try to drink some lemon water. Pretty much in the mornings whenever I work out, I do consume at least one, maybe one and a half bottles of just plain water while I'm working out. Uh, but throughout the day, I typically am sipping on this. I will probably have three or four of these in addition to lemon water, vinegar water, any of the other things that I tend to drink. I also love coffee, and I also love very sweet coffee. I am a sweet girl. And so with that being said, y'all know I like to add the skinny syrups to my coffee. And so a couple that I'm using right now, this is the sugar cookie, which the white Christmas cookie is actually my favorite. It's not because it tastes like a cookie or anything. It's just really sweet. This one replaced the white Christmas cookie, so now it is sugar cookie. There is a slight difference in my opinion. The white Christmas cookie is a little bit better. I'm not sure what the difference is. It's not that this one is bad. I still will probably say this is one of my favorites, but I have found a new one this year that I love as almost as much, if not more, than the sugar cookie, and this is the caramel cream cheesecake. There's something about the flavor of this one that I love, and uh, again, it is zero calories, so the Crystal Light and these are both zero calories, zero points, so, well, it's a Crystal Light zero calories, it's 10 calories a packet, so I do not count it. Uh, but these are both zero calories, zero points, great enhancers for your coffee. I also have just like salted caramel, and I've went through several other flavors, but the white Christmas cookie has been my favorite for a long time, but I really do love that caramel cream cheesecake. Now, as far as real snacks go, one thing that I always have almost every day, if you've been around here for a hot minute, is a Fiber One Brownie. So this is one processed food that I do like to have every day with a banana. And I have my bananas here. So a banana and a Fiber One Brownie is a two-point snack for me in the afternoons, and I love to have that. In fact, I love all fruits. Fruit are zero for me. It may not be for everybody now on the personal points, especially if you're on like the diabetic plan or whatever. So just be sure to check your own personal points for everything. I literally cannot, you know, just state what a point value is for something and it be the same for each and every person anymore. So always look it up for yourself. But if you're like following on track bites or whatever on the blue plan, two points for this and zero for the fruits. I love to have cantaloupe, pineapple, blueberries lots of times with my lunch and um, yeah, I love all fruits. I like strawberries. I don't buy those a whole lot just because those tend to go bad throughout a whole week and I just try to buy fruit that's going to last throughout the whole week for myself. Uh, another snack that is new to me and this is because of personal points that I decided to get this and it is popcorn because I did choose popcorn as one of my favorite 
No, I did choose popcorn as one of my zero point foods because I wanted corn to be a zero point food because we make a lot of like Tex-Mex type foods with corn, black beans and stuff like that. And so for beans and corn and everything, you do have to choose those to be a zero point food. And along with that, popcorn becomes a zero point food. So I got this. I actually haven't made any. I'm gonna actually make some today for the first time. Uh, I just ordered this little popcorn bowl. Oh, it's backwards from Amazon. So that way I can just put my kernels in here, pop it in the microwave. And then I also ordered a seasoning from Amazon to try on there. And this is the Amish Country Ballpark Style Popcorn Salt Extra Buttery. And it only has 10 calories per serving, which a serving is a fourth of a teaspoon. So I'm not really sure how much of this would actually make up a point, but uh, I am gonna play around with that and see. I literally just got these. Super excited to try them out. I love popcorn. I have avoided popcorn just because, number one, it's not something that really fills me up, but you know, if I can have it for zero points and then have something else, then I'm definitely down for some popcorn. So. Uh, super excited to try that and I just felt like instead of doing like the bags or whatever just getting the kernels would be the best idea and that's why I ordered one of these little bowls which I will link this uh, in my Amazon store if you want to look for that as well and then another one of my favorite things and I don't really eat this as a snack per se but I eat it with a lot of my meals is the baked Tostitos. I like to buy these little bags again I get these off Amazon they are linked in my Amazon store as well and these are three points a bag, I think. Um, occasionally, I will just have this by itself, maybe with some salsa or something if I'm wanting that, you know, salty, crunchy snack. Uh, definitely love those. Um, another snack, and this is a higher point snack, but I love it. And this is the Nuts and More Salted Caramel Peanut Butter. So a serving of this is two tablespoons and it is five points. Sometimes I will just eat it plain by itself and sometimes I like to put it on just a plain rice cake. Um, of course, each rice cake I think is gonna end up to be a point as well. I should have probably gotten those out to say that those are a favorite snack, but uh, I didn't because this is really, the, the, the rice cake is just a vessel to eat this on. So I love this stuff. Five points, I mean, I think regular Jiffy peanut butter or whatever, even a lot of the sugar-free ones are about the same amount in points, and this is super sweet. If you can't tell, I really like things really, really sweet. And then one other thing that I like to have for snacks, and uh, this may not be, I don't think that it's not Weight Watcher friendly, but it's definitely probably not something that a lot of people eat, but it does fill you up. It is high in protein, it's nice and crunchy, and it is pistachios specifically the salt and pepper ones because they are a little bit spicy. You can have, uh, I think 32, no. You can have half a cup, 28 grams without shells. I think that's about 32 pieces or so. Uh, so you can just either go ahead and shell them and weigh this out or I usually will just pick up 32. Um, I think that's why I've been tracking it in my app and then that is four points per serving. So again, if you like, I like either crunchy and salty stuff or I like really sweet stuff. I don't eat a lot of like protein bars or anything like that. Um, oh, another snack. And then I do have one last snack. I guess it's considered a snack and it's, this is the Premier Protein uh, shake in the caramel. Now, since we switched over to the personal points, a lot of people were upset because this rolled up to three points per serving instead of two points per serving. However, if you just don't have 11 full ounces, if you have like 10 and a half or 10.8 ounces, it is still two points. There's probably that much of it still stuck to the inside of the thing. I still count it as two points because that is a minimal change to bring it back down to two points. And I like to have this over ice with coffee. So I call this my profi, my protein coffee or whatever. If you have not tried that, highly recommend. Um, this was one of my favorite things when I was working to take to work to me every morning. I always had one and I would kind of sip on it. It would keep me, you know, satiated up until lunchtime because by the time that I got up at 3.30 in the morning, worked out all of this, that, and the other, you know, sometimes my breakfast wouldn't stay with me as long as I wanted it to, so I am one that likes to have a snack in between breakfast and lunch, and in between lunch and dinner, so Premier Protein, Caramel, some of the other flavors are good as well, especially if you just like to drink it plain, but for me personally, I like to have this over ice with the coffee. 
it is delicious and yeah so that's going to wrap up my favorite little snacks and i hope that you have enjoyed this video hope that you check out yvette check out um, all of the links that are down in the description box below and i will see you guys in the next video if you haven't yet already hit that subscribe button and hit that like button for me and it really helps out my channel and uh yeah i'll see you on the next video thanks guys Bye.